Michael Caine has thrown his weight behind the Pound Me Too movement, describing himself as a fully paid-up feminist. The Academy Award-winning British actor, 84, known for his role in films including The Italian Job said that he's all for the ladies as he discussed sexism in Hollywood and the allegations against shame producer Harvey Weinstein. In an candid interview with The Times the veteran star was revealed he was aware of the movie mogul's reputation for being a womanizer but did not realize the gravity of the situation. I knew he was a bit of a you know, he explained, saying Weinstein's reputation was almost a joke in Hollywood. He said he believed the producer would make advances towards aspiring actresses, but had no idea, no idea that he would be exposing himself or doing physical harm to the girl. It's when they're slightly unknown and they need it. Do you know what I mean? You can't tell Elizabeth Taylor. You're going to have to screw me to get this part. To date, 70 different women including A-listers accused the famed American producer of sexual misconduct. And Michael revealed that he didn't see anything untoward happening himself. Remembering how Weinstein certainly did and do anything when they filmed The Cider House Rules alongside Charlize Theron. His comments come a day after Harvey Weinstein's lawyer defended his client's alleged sexual misconduct as a product of Hollywood culture, calling the casting couch a distasteful tradition but not illegal. The casting couch in Hollywood was not invented by Harvey Weinstein, high flight attorney Benjamin Braffman, 69, said in a lengthy profile by the Times of London published on Saturday. If a woman decides that she needs to have sex with a Hollywood producer in order to advance her career and actually does it and finds the whole thing offensive. That's not rape, Rathman continued. You made a conscious decision that you're willing to do something that is personally offensive in order to advance your career. Now, however offensive the whole saga may be on both of your parts, that's not a crime. That's bad in many ways when you look at it. But that's been the reputation of that industry since before I was born. More than 70 women have accused Weinstein of a range of sexual misconduct, including rape. Weinstein has denied having non-consensual sex with anyone, but apologized for the way I've behaved with colleagues in the past. Some of the allegations against him did recall the storied Hollywood casting couch with young actresses claiming they were invited to a casting meeting with Weinstein and then subjected to sexual overtures. Among the women are Gwyneth Paltrow, who said he summoned her to his hotel room to suggest a massage after casting her in Emma in 1996, among others. Heather Graham and Brent Marling both penned essays describing their encounters with Weinstein saying he turned meetings into overtures for massage. Asia Argento claimed Weinstein performed forced oral sex on her and Daryl Hannah says she repeatedly rebuffed his advances.